Hi, and welcome to Yoga for Caregivers. I'm Jackie Maru, and this is a short, gentle Hatha yoga class to give you an opportunity to slow down, stretch, breathe deep, and get centered. For today, if you have, you could grab a folded blanket or one or two folded towels will do and a yoga block if you have one. And it's okay if you don't have those props, you can still practice this class. We'll begin on the back. So lie on your back and you can take, if you're comfortable with it, the bottoms of your feet together and then let your knees fall out wide. If that doesn't feel so good for you, then you can draw your knees together and take your feet wide. But take whatever position gives you rest and feels good for your body. Close your eyes or you can gaze at one point and rest your body against the floor. So you feel the support of the ground underneath your body. And you're resting as much as you can completely into it. And begin to turn your mind's eye, your awareness, to your breathing. So you can begin here to stretch and lengthen each breath in and also each breath out. So each inhale is full and deep and each exhale long and complete. It's really on the exhale breath that we can get some relief, that we feel that sense of ah, uh, of letting go. So take the deep breaths, but also the long breaths out. And slowly from here, you can open up your eyes or you're welcome to keep them closed. Draw your knees in towards your chest. You give yourself a squeeze and they can be together or apart, really whatever feels good to you. And then slowly bring your feet to the outer edges of your yoga mat. And then you can shift your knees over to the left, just like windshield wipers to a degree that feels comfortable and then shift them over to your right. Again, over to your left, whatever speed works for you, and then over to your right. And then return back to your center. Once again, draw your knees gently in towards your body. And then press yourself up any way you'd like to a comfortable seated position. Now you can sit on the edge of your blanket or your towel here, here or on the ground. Sit cross-legged or in a different position if that's more comfortable for your body. Now take your right hand to the ground or to your block and then reach your left arm up and over. Really lean into it again to a degree that feels good for you. It doesn't have to be your end range and we don't wanna force anything on the body, but ease in with your breath. and then release, come on up, and we'll do the other side. So left hand can come to the left on the ground or on a block. Reach your right arm up and over and feel the stretch down the right side of your body. Work into it and breathe deep as you hold. And then release, come back up to your center. You can move the block towards the front of your yoga mat and make your way here to tabletop and you can pad your knees with your towel or your blanket too for more comfort. Stack your shoulders right on top of elbows and wrists, hips on top of knees. We'll take some cat cow breaths. So you tilt your tailbone up a little, lengthen your spine, lift your chest, look up gently. As you exhale, we reverse that. So you tuck your tailbone, you round your back and you press into the mat and then gently draw your chin in towards your chest mindfully. And then again, inhale, lift, lengthen, look up. Exhale, round and draw in. Inhale, lift, nice and slow. Look up. 
and exhale as you round and you draw inward. And then come back to your center. From here, reach and stretch your left arm high and then rotate your wrist in one direction and then you can go in the other direction. Now, just like you're giving yourself a one-armed hug, so a half hug, you'll take your left hand and kind of wrap it underneath your body and then turn your head towards the right and then we'll inhale, reach your left arm high. We'll do that again. Exhale, find that little half hug as you turn your head to the right. Again, we'll inhale, lift up. And then exhale. This time, you can take your left shoulder all the way down to the mat. Your head can come down to the mat. And then your right hand can go forward, or you can take it behind your back or out to the side. Or you can rest it on a block if you'd like. Find a position that feels good here for your thread the needle. Adjust any way that you'd like. It's a good stretch for your left shoulder and a gentle twist for your spine. Release, come back to tabletop position. We'll do the other side. Right arm goes high, and this first one, rotate your wrists in little circles. Go both directions. And then the half hug. You take your right arm, bring it underneath, reach for the opposite shoulder towards it, and we'll inhale, reach right arm high. Exhale, reach underneath and around. And then inhale, reach and stretch up. This time as you exhale, Take your right shoulder down to your yoga mat. You can rest the side of your head on your mat. Your left arm can go forward, wide, or whatever feels good to you. Close your eyes here or gaze at one spot and breathe deeply. Make any adjustments that you need to to make it more comfortable for your body. and release. Come back to tabletop position, all fours. From here, either a puppy dog pose, which would be hands wide, arms wide, and then head down to your mat, or you can press up and back into a downward facing dog where you would curl your toes and then lift your hips up and back. If you're in down dog, bring feet hip width distance apart and press into your hands. We won't be here long. We'll take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then from whatever position you're in, make your way to the top of your mat. So you can step over any props that you have there or move them aside. And make your way to a standing forward bend. So this could be with your hands on a block or it can be with your hands on your shins or to the ground, whatever your body does. Breathe here though. And melt in. You can bend your knees as much as you want or need. Notice the sensations in your body. And then slowly make your way all the way up to a standing position. And once you're up here for standing, reach your arms over your head, take your right hand to your left forearm, and then lean over to your right side. So you're feeling a stretch, perhaps down the left side of your body. Now come on up to center and we'll switch left hand to right forearm, and then lean over towards your left side and hold here and feel the stretch down the right side of your body. And then release, rise up, reach up as tall as you can, and then release, forward bend. Take it all the way down and bow over your legs. Feel the stretch here in the back of your body as you hold. And slowly from here, you can make your way back to tabletop position and then have a seat on your yoga mat. 
So you can sit again on your blanket or on your towel, whatever feels good. And then straighten your right leg out. Take your left foot in towards your right inner thigh. You can place a block underneath your left knee if you'd like for support. Reach and stretch your arms up and over your head. Now turn over your right leg, hinge at your hips and fold. Arms can be anywhere you'd like. They can be by your sides. You can reach for your leg. You can reach for your foot. Whatever feels good here. Close your eyes or gaze at one spot. And if you want to feel more in your lower leg, in the back, in your calf muscles, you can flex your toes towards your body, but you don't have to. If thoughts come, try to grab you away. Turn your awareness back to your breath and it can help you stay present. And then release, come all the way up to a seated position. Take your left hand and bring it behind you, anywhere that feels comfortable. Take your right hand to your left knee or your lower thigh. Sit tall and twist to your left. So you look over your left shoulder. Try to relax your shoulders. Bending elbows can help you find a little more ease in your shoulders. and release. We'll do the other side now so you can extend your left leg out and then pull your right foot in towards your left inner thigh. Feel free to prop your knee up if you want or need. Arms up as you inhale and then turn towards your left leg. Hinge at your hips and bring your arms down wherever feels good. Eyes either closed or in one place to help you be less distracted. This is our time to shine the light of awareness instead of outward. We shine and we turn it inward. and slowly release, come up. You can take your right hand behind you, take your left hand to your right leg or knee, sit tall and twist towards your right. Try not to force it, breathe into it instead. And then release return to your center. Now, you can take a seated figure four. So we'll take a seated hip opener. So you can bend your left knee, and I'll give you options here. Then take your right ankle and bring it on top of your left leg or knee. And you can lift the center of your chest here as you stretch your hips. If this doesn't feel so good for you, then you can instead lie on your back and take your right ankle in front of your left knee. And you can keep your left foot on the floor, place it on a block, or you can draw your left knee in towards your chest. So pick whichever option feels best for you, seated or on your back, and find the depth that works for you that feels good. And we'll hold here. and release, switch sides. So either on your back or seated, and you can help your ankle up, however you need to get it there, and lift your chest. Get into that position that feels just right to release tension in your body. Two 
tune into breath again if you've lost that connection. and then release. Come to the back if you're not there already. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And then a happy baby pose. You can bend your knees wide and you can grab either underneath your knees at the knee crease or you can grab your ankles or you could grab the bottoms of your feet just to stretch hips a little more. Now release, bring your feet to the floor about hip width distance apart. Draw your shoulders towards each other underneath your body and then slowly lift your hips up off the mat. We won't be here long. This bridge pose is a lovely way to open the front line of your body. Pull your chin from your chest here and feel the stretch in the front. Breathe in. Exhale, release, and then lower your hips down to the yoga mat. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And now guide your right knee across your body, either to the floor on your left, or it can hover in air, or you can grab your blanket or your block and place it underneath your right knee. And then reach and stretch your right arm to your right. And you can bend your arm like a goalpost or a cactus as you look over it. And start to, again, relax and melt your body into the ground so you feel the support of the ground underneath you and you're relaxing into it as much as you can. Release, come to center. Other side, you can move your props if you use them over to the opposite side and then bend your left knee first, draw it in towards your chest. And then guide your knee across your body to your prop or it can hang out in air. Reach your left arm to the left. You can bend your left arm, turn your left palm up. Get into a position that you can hold and relax in but also one that you feel. And begin to soften as much as you can into the posture. Receive from the posture. And slowly release. Come back to center. And once again, hug your knees into your chest gently. And take a deep breath in here. Exhale, let it out, let it go. And then release into your final Shavasana. So you can extend your legs out in front of you for final relaxation. You can bring your arms by your sides with your palms up or find a position that's comfortable for your body. Take the next couple minutes here for rest, for stillness. So you're awake, but taking intentional rest. Take this time here to fuel up, to replenish your energy as much as you can.
begin to deepen your breath. You can wiggle fingers, toes. And then roll onto one side and you can press yourself up again into a comfortable seat. Sit tall and bring your arms down by your sides. And then as you inhale, sweep your arms out and then up and over your head. As you exhale, take them down right in front of your chest and your heart. And take another breath in. Exhale as you bow head in towards heart. I hope that you enjoyed that class. Have a wonderful day.